BigQuery has a super nice functionality for the scenario of you having to pivot a table. Uh, this is something that we are going to explore today quickly with a proof of concept, so let's just get started. So the first thing we are going for is there is a lot of documentation on Google BigQuery. I will leave the link for the pivot operator also in the description, but uh, if you ever lost track, uh, you can always go through the documentation. They are quite verbose and they have some some good parts in it. Um, but nevertheless, we will cover this in a, in a second as well and make this a bit more understandable for our, for our use case. So here I have my classical orders table. Um, for every order I have, I have an entry. So every order means a row. I do have like the specific date, for example. I have a user ID that purchased. I have a subscription ID, so which is abbreviated with sub ID. So similar to an order ID. I do have product names. I have platforms. I have revenues, etc, etc. So in our case, we would like to see, for example, per day how much revenue we have on web compared to per day how much revenue we have for Android. And in this case, in order to do this, I would have to pivot the table. I would do something similar to, let's say, so the, this is the usual way of doing things. I would say reporting date, and then let's say I want to have all sales. If I want to have all sales, if I want to have all sales, I say, um, I can do this group by one and now I have for the specific day I have the specific sale sales amount but if I want to have for example the sales of web I would say count case when uh, platform platform equals yes, I remember we have it as web and then one it's null and so I can, as long as there is any sort of value, so count always counts if there's a value, right? So the, what kind of value it doesn't, doesn't matter, right? I can also write in a zero here. I can write in something. As long as it's there, um, it's fine. For us, in order for the count to be effective, I have to say, otherwise, if it's not web, please set it to null. Right, so just as an example, if I have it like this, and I compare this to not having it like this, uh, let's say, Let's say a common mistake would be to set this to null or to zero, and I do get an error because I have then else. Hmm. I am, of course, because we have a string here and a number there. So in this case, you see here, for example, I still have 54 orders, and here I have my 36, so here I have the web orders. Um, and that's because like null is counted as a value, nevertheless. It's not the exercise here. I remove this and I say else null. In this case, uh, let's clean this up a bit and just say one. And so what I can do here is since I don't need the else statement, I can just say then one, which means like everything else will be zero. And now I have my web sales. So let's also name it like this web sales. And then of course I would have to do the same now with the next platform. So case okay, when platform equals uh, Android, Android, and then one, and as, let's say, Android sales, and so on and so on. That's how pivoting works in a classical database. Um, but that that is not our purpose here. So we want to do this differently. We want to do this the BigQuery way, and that's going to do, uh, that's going to be the next step. Now let us come to the BigQuery way, which is a bit different because now we have to say what we want to pivot. So I can, technically speaking, I could, let's just follow me for now, I would say my base pivot, um, which is the table I would like to see. In this case, I need to select a specific column. So I want the reporting date, and then I want to have the platform. And then I want to, actually, I don't need anything more because we do the count. And I would say ODS back and ODS granular. Oops, and of course this doesn't work. Uh, let me first of all do this and show you the table from base pivot. So that's our pivot base. So you see like it's very similar to what we have before. Like it's a date and there's a platform. So we weeded out a lot of the columns because everything that is uh, in our base table, so everything that's uh, going to go into the pivot functionality is going to be pivoted. Meaning that if I if I select a bunch of columns, all of these columns are going to be pivoted. And in this case, uh, I can now do the BigQuery specific syntax. I can say pivot, and then I open. And now I have to say what I want to pivot. So in this case, I want to have the count. Oops, the count as, let's say, sales. 
we can give it an alias because that's let's do it without first um, we can give it an alias afterwards so now I would say for and then I say for every platform that I have which has to be in and that's the that's the next part so I can say I can say it has to be in web or in Android and Android difficult word and if I now execute hopefully everything is fine and you see like for example now we have our reporting date we have the web sales and we have the Android sales without I mean this looks a bit more convoluted than it actually is because we only have two columns but if you do this with 15 columns it's much much more like it's, it's better this way or it makes more fun writing it this way because you don't have to like copy and paste account and uh, case wins the whole time um, now we have like a lot of other functionalities, functionalities that we can do. So first of all, I can say this is sales, and then watch how this is changing. So I would say uh, sales in here, and then you see like everything gets abbreviated or prefixed. Um, in this case, with sales web, sales, sales Android. Right. So if I now would like to do, so I can also change my columns here. I would say let's say lower here, and then I would say web. And then I would say Android and see how this also changes. Android and see also this column name is now lowercase. And so that's the that's the POC of this. If I now want to do, let's say I want to do something else, I want to say uh, I want to aggregate this based on the month, right? I would say date trunk, uh, month, I would say months, months or reporting months because we are extra, extra clever. And now I have this all aggregated on the specific months. Right. Um, quite nice because now I don't have to, like, I mean, it's still the same, but it looks, looks a bit cleaner and has a bit of a different touch. Um, overall, I think this function is quite nice. And what we definitely should pay attention to is what we pass into the pivot. So, uh, technically speaking, I could pass in the whole, let's do this, I could pass in the whole table here without like my pivoting here or like without my pivot definition here and if I now execute this you will see everything is getting pivoted uh, kind of kind of like not what we want um, definitely not what we want so I have the whole table and at the end I do have oh yeah, say it's web say it's Android and of course like this is not what we want because the pivot for big uh, like BigQuery takes the whole the whole table as the pivot and that's why it makes sense for us to first of all go with a subset of what we want because like, I mean, there's not, there's not many ways where uh, this makes sense for us to push in the whole table because if I want to pivot, I want to pivot on, on specific columns, not necessarily on the whole table. In general, like I said, it's a super nice functionality. Um, normally, there is also a way to make this dynamic, which I might show or might not show. With that being said, that's a POC. Hope you like it. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, also, like if you don't know if you didn't know before like if you know um, more or <laughs> like if you if you like dislike if you don't like um, leave a comment if I should understand or should write more about this let me know